Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pill and Barbecue. Well, as you can see, today it's snowing in southeast Georgia. I don't even remember the last year, 2009, 2010, maybe 08, it snowed here. But I figure why not? Great time to do a video. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a review of the uh, accessory pack from Grilla Grills for my silverback right here. Um, and once again, completely impressed with the products that they come out with. Uh, everything that they do, whether it's a grill or some accessory, is top notch. And with this accessory pack, it comes in three different parts. There's really four parts, but three different aspects. Um, and every bit of it's 304 stainless steel solid as a rock nothing's flimsy about it at all and i'm going to tell you exactly what each one of them does and i'm also going to show you probably time lapsed um just how easy and how long it takes me to put everything together so first thing i'm going to do is put the uh, heat deflector in that's going to take the most time because you got to take two bolts out and then put put two bolts back in so i'm going to show you that first <laughs> Now this is the heat deflector. Again, you can see sturdy 304 stainless steel. You cannot bend it. And what it does is it's gonna mount right here to the bolts that hold your handle on. And it's gonna mount this way where that lip, you can see the angle right there. The angle part is up here. All right, so that when condensation or grease collects on, the, on your lid, when it drips off, it's going to hit that angle part and direct it back into, uh, back into your grill. And that's, pretty, that's good for me, but the biggest thing for me is keeping that smoke and the heat in. Now this thing's already so heat efficient, it's not even funny, but this is going to make it even better. And that's what I like about this part. So uh, let's get to uh, putting it on. It's really pretty simple. They give you the hardware. If I can get it out of my pocket. They give you the hardware in this little bag. And all it is is a little bit longer bolts than already holds your handle on. And some spacers. And so uh, I'm just going to quit talking and get it put on. Make sure you save that washer that's on this bolt. Alright, so there's your handle and here's your other bolt. Get the heat deflector and with the angle facing up and towards your grill. You're going to take your longer provided bolt and your washer. Stick that straight through. Spice it. So, bolt, washer, spacer.
that one side started. There you go. Now your heat deflector is in. So now, right when you close your lid, that heat deflector is sitting right over your grate, and causing everything to come up, over, and back into your grill. Now the second part of that is this piece. It's a little channel. See it? That's pretty good view right there. And this is a grease catch for your silver back, and it goes right on the front, right over the lip. And what I like about that is any grease that does get by, which it shouldn't anymore, is going to come right down, fall into that trough instead of running down the front of your grill. So now all you got to do is take it back off, rinse it out. Wipe it out and slap it back on. But again, for me, I think what it's going to do is increase the heat efficiency and smoke efficiency even more because now it's a flush fit all the way across the front of your grill. So now when your lid closes, it is flush all the way across on the front, which is going to add to the efficiency. So those are the first two things. The third thing is what's, what I'm most excited about, and it's these grill grate jacks. And again, when I, when I got this in and got it out of the box, these were a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be, and way more sturdier than I thought they were gonna be. But again, I shouldn't be surprised from any products that come from grilling. But these things are gonna be awesome, and I think this is probably the best part of the accessory pack for me. Number one, because it's gonna help you clean your grill um, but also I'm exactly two weeks and a day or so out from a hernia surgery so I'm not supposed to be lifting anything one benefit of having a, a grill of silverback is the grill grates are heavy that they're sturdy they're well built the bad thing about them is they're heavy so when you want to clean it you got to take it out and all that stuff well these things are going to help a ton being able to clean your grates, clean up under the grates without taking your grates out. So all you gotta do is take this part, turn it sideways, stick it in the grate, and twist, and then you can lift your grate up. Just like that. Now you take this part, wedge it in, and now your grill grate is jacked up. You can get up under here and clean all the way up under it. You can take the tin foil out, replace the tin foil, take the heat deflector out, the whole deal, and never have to pull your grate out. That's awesome. The second thing is, again, you can use your front grate to lift it up and put it right down. And then it's a scraper. You can see that end right there. That little V can be used to put on top of your grill grate. And clean 
the bottom part where it's squared off right there, you can slide it up under the brew grate. And now you can clean that aggravating bottom part of your grill grate. And if you want to know if it works or not, well, there's your proof right there. Now, I cooked on it New Year's Eve and I hadn't cleaned it since New Year's Eve because it's just been nasty out here. But there's proof that it works, especially on the bottom part of your grill. So again, is this accessory pack something you need? You know you don't need it. Is it a great accessory to have? Absolutely. And for me, the grease trap is okay, but I haven't had a whole lot of issues with grease dripping down the front of my grill for some reason. I just haven't had a real big issue with that. But I do think it's gonna be, it's gonna make it more efficient as far as heat retention and smoke retention. The heat deflator. I think that's going to be big because it's going to keep that heat in more. Probably make it some more convection heat. Keep the smoke in and allow that condensation to drip back onto your drip pan. But the third thing for me are these things right here. I'm going to love these things. So, great idea. Grill Grill Mark, all you guys do a great job. I want to thank you. I hope this thing was, uh, this video was helpful to you. If you like what you're seeing on my channel, please look like, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I usually get back to everybody um, and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, I'll be fiddling.